Hey everybody, it's Sean with Battleborn Batteries, and today I'm here to answer a question about the difference between our lithium BIM from Precision Circuits and a battery-to-battery -battery charger like this one here from Victron Energy. People ask this question all the time, which one do I need, do I need both? And that all depends on your system. The difference between this battery isolation manager and this DC-to-DC -DC charger is very simple. This is basically a converter that's taking power from your starting battery and delivering it to your house battery. That power or energy is coming from the alternator. This battery isolation manager, what it does, it's a relay, it's very intelligent, it has a lot of features that a regular battery isolator doesn't have. But what happens with this in a, in a simple idea or simple explanation is when you turn your vehicle on, it puts your starting battery in parallel with your house batteries and allows your alternator to then recharge your house battery bank. One thing about the battery isolation manager that we get from Precision Circuits, the lithium BIM we call it, that's very cool is it monitors the voltage on your starting battery. And if it needs to raise that voltage, it will take that power or energy from your house bank and make sure your starting battery is charged up enough to start your vehicle. It's a very smart device, but it is markedly different than a DC to DC charger, which only charges at 30 amps. Now, in a situation where you have a smaller system and you really want to regulate that current or the manufacturer of your vehicle requires you to regulate current, a battery-to-battery -battery charger is a great device to use to charge a house bank off an alternator. This device will ensure that you do not overheat your alternator. It will not ensure that you don't overcharge your battery bank. So let's say, for example, you only have two batteries. You have a 225-amp alternator. You could feed a lot of power through here and go over the 100-amp charging limit that we recommend. This will regulate the current down to 30 amps. This device will regulate charge cycles. It basically alternates from charge and no charge in itself in the algorithm. It shuts off charging to the bank to make sure that you don't overheat your alternator on a long drive. That's very important. At 30 amps, that's not really a concern. But if you're pumping 160 amps or 100 amps in there, you can really work that alternator pretty hard. And what happens is, after about 15 minutes, the stator temperature of the alternator gets to the point where it gets hot enough to start shortening the lifespan of that alternator. And that's about the time our duty cycle kicks in and gives that device another 15, 10 to 15 minutes to cool off. That way before we start charging again, so we never run the risk of overheating your alternator. So clearly, Two different devices doing similar things, but based on your system is how you decide which one you need. And like I said, just give us a call or shoot us an email. We're happy to go over this with you in person based on your system needs.